Hillary jacked up Noah's hair last night. You know, say, hey Noah, hey I'm Noah, let's see that, let's see that hair, bud. I want this one. Let's see that hair, Noah. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to make it look better than it really is. Come on, let's hey, see what's going hey, on here. What is that? I just want to see what what the hair looks like that got cut. That... <laughs> got anything to say for yourself there, Super Mommies? <laughs> in my defense, I had two other little kids running in circles around me, and I just skipped a vital step of bang cutting. I pulled the hair out like this, and I should have lowered it to see how long it was, but instead I just pulled it out and cut. Immediately knew what I did. <laughs> but in my defense, in six years of cutting his hair, I've never messed up this bad, so. I'm trying to take him to get his hair cut to, at a place, and she's still trying to like fight me on what I can do as far, and I'm letting Noah pick. I want Noah to pick. Noah, I just want you to pick, I just want you to have your hair cut the way that, that you want to have it cut, okay, my guy? Look at Eli, look how good I did on Eli's. Eli, you look, you look great, bud. Yeah, I don't think I need any more trimming. Okay, so here's the options Noah has. Noah has whatever options he wants. Right. We're letting Noah cut his hair however yeah. he wants to have so it cut. So he can either kind of leave it long and just get the trims, the sides trimmed and the back evened out, or he can get a short haircut. It's up to him. He's yeah. thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. And Leia? Uh -oh. no and yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's yeah, yeah doing? No yeah, yeah. I think I know a thing or two about long hair. Hillary's are about getting cut too short, but this is gonna be a Daddy Noah trip. Before why? we go do that, why? 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 I messed up. Shouldn't I be the one taking? You should be the one that should be banned <laughs> from hair places. <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed to show your face at a barber shop. Oh, but... she? She's allowed to. Yeah, he wants me there. You're not coming, sorry. That's not your decision. It's my decision. It's up to him. I'm going, you're not. No, Yes. it's not fair. Yeah, it is fair, because you're gonna be back there trying to do what you're doing now, which is influence him. Because I know things about hair, you don't. Maybe I'm not good at doing what it. What is this? Is this hair? Do I, hey, hey no, yeah, who has more hair? Yeah, because you never cut it, so you don't know anything about haircuts. <laughs> And style. Man, that's a bold statement. You do not have You're know telling anything somebody about else they don't know anything about haircuts right now. I that's... didn't say I can do it good. I'm not trying to act like I'm a good haircut. I'm just trying to have a, a me and Noah day no, and we're going to do the hair. We'll go all, no, we'll do the I want to I wanna go with we Noah. Will... I'm going to start whining like real bad right I now. I am too because I really want to be there. This is his first haircut. <laughs> no, it's not. He's had lots of other haircuts. Not from a professional. I know. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> I really want to be there. You guys can like, no, I want to be there. Oh, um, we can I all think, be there. I think we mommy is like, yeah, I think. Found a trip. But listen, I'm not going to be all up in the way. Once he decides what he wants to do, then I'm going to respect that. Uh, no, you're gonna be sitting there like you just were. No, you can do this. You can, you can do that. Yeah, See I'm what I. I'm giving him his options. My technique is to sit there and just let him pick out, look at the different hairstyles, and be like, "Here's this. Here's this. Here's this. What do you like?" But and she's he, like, "Oh, but should... don't you think? Don't you think if you do it like this? Don't you think you should maybe, maybe better? But you're influencing him and not letting him make his own decision. I'm telling him his options." Okay, so I figured this is a good time to do the other half of the question video. Ella's Reptiles wants to know, what is your favorite snake here? My, my favorite snake is Mr. Pink. Oh yes, I think we knew that. I have a lot of favorites. Well, you got, well favorite means you gotta pick one though. Halo. Halo? Yeah, that makes two of us. <laughs> That's actually what I was gonna say. You gonna say Halo too? I was gonna say Halo and Betsy Ross and Patsy LaRue. Wait, mommy. Halo did for the win. What, hey, favorite means one one favorite. Did you name What's it? your favorite snake, T? Who's your favorite snake? You like, you like No, no, it's the white one, Bernice. Oh yeah, Bernice is definitely her favorite snake. Yes, Bernice. Yeah, definitely. Mr. Hartle over at Retrail Reptiles asked, what would we do as a family if we won a million dollars? I know that I would say at least for me, I would I would build have us buys a house, so we had no mortgage or rent payment ever again. Just property tax, I guess. Ooh. But <clears throat> buy a house and then use the rest of the money to build like a reptile zoo type of place and hire Riley to come up and run it. <laughs> what about what about you? This family decision is a uh, 
Rose family. Well, if it's in California, we'd be out of money by the end of that build. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, that's no, pretty much no, what I do. No, you're not kidding. Yeah, I know, right? Um, no, that's probably what I do. And then, like, do something charitable with a small percentage of it, or maybe start a charity. Like, you set up a, an idea for setting up a zoo, set up something that we love to do. Yeah. That benefits other people. Yeah. And enriches the community. Yeah. Daddy, did you know that mine airplane just did a summer salt flip? Oh, nice. Who made you that airplane? You. It's nice, huh? That's I've been making yes. that airplane since I was seven years old, bud. Hey, you made two of these. Mm -hmm. Chaos Brings Order wants to know what the favorite animal in the house is. And for me right now, that is definitely the little African bullfrog. That thing is one of the little special place right here in my heart. The most animal? Well, yeah, what's your favorite animal in the house? The bullfrog. The bullfrog, too? He's super cute. Hey, Eli, what's, what's your favorite animal in the house of all the animals? Uh, Roxanne. Which Roxanne? The Tegu lizard. <laughs> Mommy's favorite, favorite animal. <laughs> What's up? Um, I mean, I really like the geckos. Yeah. But that little bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> the little bullfrog? It's so cute. Everyone loves the bullfrog. Everyone yeah, loves the bullfrog. That's a bullfrog for the win. Do you just love all the animals? Yeah, yeah, she loves all of them. Mm -hmm. oh, tiki me. Anthony Bryson asks, what's the number two thing besides reptiles and YouTube? that uh, is a number two thing in, in life. I, I would have to say, I would have to say music. And reptiles and YouTube definitely takes up most of my life at this point, but when I'm not doing that, I'm picking up my guitar, playing and singing songs, or going to play with a band, even though I'm not sure if that's happening anymore. <laughs> Daddy, there's so much so No, what do you, what's your favorite thing besides reptiles? <coughs> we'll come back to you. Play. Play? Play. So play what? Anything that I like. Oh. Yeah. Tay likes she likes rainbows. I Favorite thing besides reptiles? <laughs> hmm. There's a few. <laughs> um going to the beach. Daddy, any beach okay. activity uh, and yoga. Yoga? Yeah. Yoga. And oh. Hey Eli. What? What's your favorite thing to do? Uh play with Paper airplanes with my brother. <laughs> so just... And Jaden. Bye bye. I mean, this one's <laughs> That's his, his new favorite thing to do as of today. Mommy. Sandra Morrison 99, who's always giving me a hard time, which is cool. Daddy, you uh, make a paper airplane for <laughs> Noah. Why am I so against dogs? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not against dogs. I had a pair of dogs, a couple of Dalmatians that I had growing up. And when they passed, I'm gonna start crying right now because I, I never got over it. I never got over you it. You mean when one passed? I never got over it. When both of them passed. When they both passed, it's tough. If anybody has had dogs knows that having a dog is, they're very easy to love. They're, they give lots of love without any conditions. And uh, when you lose them, it can be pretty freaking rough. Yeah. So I haven't had a dog for a long time now because I'm not ready to go through that again. Um, that being said, I do think that a dog would benefit the family. Um, God damn it. Two. Huh? So what do you, what's, what, what's your dog train? Two dogs. You want two dogs? Yeah. Yeah. I, do. I want. I want. I want two. I want two chickens. Oh, maybe we'll start with chickens. I, I want. I want some little baby chickens for oh. my dog. So I could hold my own. Yeah, that'd be fun. Huh? Yeah, like a little chicken set. Yeah. But they are real chickens. <laughs> Wait, mommy. Yeah, bud. How do we know the dogs? How can we trust the dogs to stay without? Well, we all we have to do is close that gate. To really answer your question is, I'm not so against dogs. I just I'm so for dogs that it's stopping me because it's gonna. It's, I know what's coming. Yeah. Heartache. Oh, Daddy, that's not the way you want to look at it. I just. You gotta look at it as all those, 
memories of joy. Mommy, I don't and a protector for when you're gone. Mommy, I don't want. In case mine. a mountain lion comes sneaking around and we're outside. Mommy, mommy's talking to you, Hifalafa. Oh, mommy. This next question comes from Mr. John Feely. I'm gonna let Hillary field this question, which is, uh, what is one aspect of our lives that makes our bond stronger as a family, or strongest as a family, that you believe makes our bond strongest as a family? I can like come over to you, you know. Oh. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I think like our values of what it means to, like how we want to raise our children and. And what how mommy have. just cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she just cut a tiny piece over there. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Oh, it's just a tiny piece? No, just now. Uh, there was what? One. What? <laughs> Stay, keep the scissors there off his head, piece woman. That was clearly you are than fired that. from <laughs> having scissors on our child's head. <laughs> <clears throat> Ashley Blazer, you asked like five or six questions. In the interest of keeping this video from being like 40 minutes long, I'm going to just answer two of them. Uh, the first one I'm going to choose is if we had the option to move anywhere in the world <laughs> to build business and raise, raise a family, where would it be and why? I. Hawaii. It's not possible. It's really not possible for what we're trying to do here. But if, if we could do it in Hawaii. I would do it there, and I would move the entire family there. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Can we bring grandmas and grandpas? <laughs> yeah, we'd have to bring family. Right? Um, the the main reason we're here in California is that both of our families are here, and we're both from here. All of our families are here for yeah, the most, yeah. almost our family, you know, almost in our entire entirety. There is a yeah. handful of our family that lives outside of California, but the majority of our family on both sides is here in California. Yeah. That's why we're here. Final question is, uh, how is no internet day going? And uh, how, any struggles with <laughs> staying away from your phone or devices? <laughs> when we're out and about doing stuff as a family, it's super easy. When we're just home, like yesterday, the boys were all gone. She was taking a nap. I was on, I watched a show because- You what? Yeah. I cheated. Oh my gosh. But but listen, if we're all hanging out as a family on Sunday, I'm for sure down for the no screen day. Okay. I know, I suck. Hillary's been having a bit more of a struggle with it than me, apparently. Only, I... when, only on days where we're not like doing anything as a family. It's going fairly well for me. I, I, I did edit some video last night on the computer yeah, because I wanted a video to go up on Monday and I hadn't gotten to it yet. But So I've not been 100%, but pretty good. It, it, it is a struggle. I do feel it like... There's definitely times when I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go check what's going on on Instagram. Like, oh no, it's Sunday. I don't do that. But and then I still feel it. I feel the like the, yeah. the thing like, oh, I want to go check. I want to go check. But then I just have to say, no, don't do that. Or you got other things to, be, to like, do. Silly things like, oh, I wonder what the weather's gonna be like this week. Let me. Oh, just kidding. Like <laughs> I can wait till tomorrow and look outside. So I love. I love it. Yeah, when it feels right and when we do it, I love it. All right, it's time to go fix this boy's hair. What do you think, mommies? How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? It's cute. It's just so different. All right, not gonna lie, I did start to feel a little bit emotional when she first started cutting off those first few locks from his head, uh, but I got over it real quick. I think he looks amazing. I think Hillary's a brave woman for allowing me to take him there and make her go to the store while I watched what was gonna happen with the rest of his head. I think that was awesome. I think he looks great again. Uh, comment down below and be 100% honest. If I was to do that to my head, how many of you guys would unsubscribe because you'd never get to see long, luscious locks again on this channel? 100% honesty. Let me know down in the comments, please. 
I got some things to do. I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. Aloha. Ha <laughs>